Welcome to the Create and Adjust Schedules training. This session will review the labor management process and how it relates to creating and adjusting schedules in Kronos. Review the Kronos LMS trainings specific to creating and adjusting schedules prior to this session in order to expand on lessons learned. Creating schedules in Kronos prior to the week's start and actively adjusting schedules during the work week ultimately simplifies the time card management process. After taking this training, you should understand timing and responsibilities for creating and adjusting schedules in Kronos, and how to leverage location allocated hours in the LST and translate to Kronos schedules. Managing and adjusting an active schedule in Kronos is critical for three main reasons. Minimizes unnecessary exceptions. By creating as accurate a schedule as possible in Kronos prior to the start of the work week, employees will be able to punch in without any issues, which will minimize the number of exceptions that need to be addressed. Ensures timely payroll submission. Minimizing the number of exceptions that need to be addressed each day means there will be less exceptions to address at the end of the week, ensuring payroll is submitted on time. Provides actionable reports. If high punch edit and exception rates are due to inaccurate schedules in Kronos, Kronos exception reports provide no benefit to the manager. Ensuring that schedules are as accurate as possible allows managers to view deviations to the schedule and ability to address behavioral issues with employees as necessary. Actively managing your schedule is critical in order to support the labor management process. The specific responsibilities that support the labor management process make up the labor management routine. This training will focus on the weekly activity to build and adjust schedules in Kronos, which begins nine days prior to the start of your work week. We will then discuss how to post your schedule directly from Kronos one week prior to the start of the work week and update Kronos schedules, if necessary, prior to the start of a shift. Finally, we will review the daily activities to monitor service, adjust staffing, and monitor and adjust for approaching overtime. Depending on the levels of oversight at your site, executional responsibilities may be held by one or multiple people. In profit centers with multiple locations and levels of oversight, the profit center oversight team, for example, the site lead or controller, may be responsible for forecasting allowable hours and allocating to specific locations, in which case the location execution team, for example, location managers or supervisors, are likely responsible for reviewing allocated hours and creating schedules in chronos. In profit centers with one level of oversight, the profit center role may be responsible for forecasting allowable hours, allocating to specific locations, and creating schedules based off of those allowable hours. In both scenarios, it is critical to establish a feedback loop through weekly meetings or daily huddles to ensure communication between profit center oversight and team members that are driving execution. Prior to creating schedules in Kronos, it is critical for location managers to understand how many hours they can schedule in order to meet financial obligations. The Labor Scheduling Tool, or LST, is a suggested tool used to calculate allowable hours for each profit center. Before accessing the LST, it is important for you to fully understand the key drivers of the allowable hours calculation. This enables each element to be leveraged appropriately when aligning operational hours to the financial expectations. Each period, the labor as a percentage of revenue is applied against a projected revenue value to determine an allowable labor cost, which is then converted to an allowable hourly cost by removing the fixed salaried and tax and benefit costs. Once the allowable hourly cost is calculated, an average hourly rate is then applied, resulting in the final allowable hours output. Now that Profit Center Oversight has dictated allocated hours in the LST, let's review how to locate allowable and allocated hours and translate those hours into schedules in Kronos. After logging into Kronos using your Aramark credentials, click the Workspaces link at the top right. Use the navigation arrow to scroll right until the Labor Scheduling Tool link appears. Enter your Aramark email address and password. Once you're logged into the Kronos LST, ensure your Profit Center is selected from the Profit Center dropdown and navigate to the Allocation section of the tool by selecting Allocations.
Once you're in the allocation section, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, select the operational week you would like to take action on for the selected profit center. You can move between weeks using the arrows or by selecting a date from the pop-up calendar. Selecting a specific date from the calendar will take you to the operational week in which that day resides. Based on the projected revenue entered by site leadership and the labor percentage of revenue target, values for allowable hours and wages will automatically calculate by the allowable hours calculation described previously. This screen also displays allocated hours and wages, scheduled hours and wages automatically brought in from chrono schedules, and actuals once the week progresses. To determine how many hours you should schedule for your specific location, click the By Location radio button. In the screen, the system automatically calculates how many hours should be worked at each location based on where it has been worked in the past. Site leadership has the ability to incorporate any expected or known variance to the allowable hours in the screen by increasing or decreasing the amount of hours worked at each location. If you believe that the allocated hours are either too high, are spread incorrectly, or are not sufficient to run your location, there are two options to make edits depending on your access. If you have access to the entire Profit Center in Kronos, you are able to make edits to the allocated hours section directly. If you have access to the specific location only, leverage your established feedback loop to communicate necessary updates to Profit Center oversight during daily huddles or weekly meetings. In this example, note that Chick-fil-A has 515 hours to spend for the future week. Note the specific days that require more or less hours. Now we are ready to create a schedule for the future week based on the allocated hours. Navigate to the Schedules widget. In order to build your schedule in Kronos, you should be familiar with the following system capabilities. Creating a hyperfine in order to filter the employee population in view. The basics of adding, editing, and deleting a shift in the scheduler. How to enter a split shift when an employee works multiple shifts in a day, including how to enter a break. Building a schedule using patterns, which should be used for repeating schedules only, such as office staff. And schedule transfers in order to ensure employee hours worked are attributed to the correct profit center, location, and department. Schedule transfers are also important to create when an employee works in a position with a difference in pay. Viewing and understanding approaching overtime. Export data from the schedule widget to Excel to view employee name, employee ID, scheduled hours, and projected hours to identify employees who are trending towards overtime. To review this functionality in more detail, visit the GOE website for detailed how-to documentation. Use the Select Locations drop-down to select the location you would like to schedule for. In this example, I have already selected Chick-fil-A and have created a schedule based on my allocated hours. Locate the Indicators section and bring the screen into view. Click the Metrics tab. Click the Select Metrics drop-down, select Labor Hours, and Load. In this screen, expand the Staff and Summary Departments. Here, you are able to see the scheduled hours for all days of the week, as well as broken out by specific days of the week. Ensure that these hours match the allocated hours that were prescribed for your location in the Labor Scheduling tool. Ensuring that your schedule is accurate and up-to-date in Kronos allows you to utilize the Location Schedule Detail Weekly Report. This report displays employee schedules for selected period of time, including their home location, department, and job, and hours to be worked. The Location Execution Team should select their profit center or desired location to run, print, and post the Location Schedule Detail Report one week prior to the start of the scheduled work week. Once posted, be sure to incorporate any last-minute changes in the Chrono Scheduler and post a final schedule no later than two days prior to the start of the schedule week. 
So far, we've discussed the process for creating schedules in Chronos prior to the work week. However, there are situations during the work week that would require a change to the schedule. As a part of the labor management routine, location managers should monitor service and adjust staffing daily. Monitor weekly performance and schedules if necessary. For example, if you notice that the current week's volume is less than expected, consider making updates to the schedule for the rest of the week. When sending employees home early or the day of, leave the schedule in place. If you need an employee to stay longer, extend their day of schedule to avoid punch restrictions.